When you talk about Chicago's vast architecture, you most likely aren't describing the buildings as ugly, but one local tour guide begs to differ. Tours with Mike offers a twist on traditional Chicago tours and points out the beautiful buildings as well as the ones that aren't <laughs> so much. Mike McManus joins us now. Thank you for being here. Thanks so much for having me on your show. I love this because, yeah, there are a few, like, you know, the, the, <laughs> the, the combs, the parking structure, like, I think that's ugly. Mm -hmm. I know it's supposed to be beautiful, but there's a lot of Chicago that isn't necessarily aesthetically pleasing to everyone. Yeah, you know what? Chicago is the architectural capital of the United States. I love talking about pretty buildings. You can see them in the yeah. skyline right behind us. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think it's also important that we can learn from ugly buildings, that we can learn why they look the way they do, mm -hmm. talk about why, and try to understand our feelings of why we think they may be ugly, and then, uh, and then you know what, people may disagree and they'll have this conversation, and I think that's what's important. Yeah. Now, you came up with this tour during the pandemic. Yes. Okay, how did, this, how did this happen? Sure, so I've given tours for 15 years mm -hmm. as a volunteer with the Chicago Architecture Center. Uh -huh. So I created some of their most famous tour, or most popular tours that they uh -huh. have there. But like a lot of people during the pandemic, I'm kind of like, what do I want to do with my life? <laughs> and so I want to make my passion my profession. So I started my own solo tour company, Tours with Mike. And so I get to create these fun uh, experiences that I normally couldn't do otherwise. Mm. Okay, so let's talk about some of your favorite ugly sure. architecture in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure, so uh, something that usually gets ugly, per, uh, people unanimously vote ugly is the House of Blues. Yeah. So that's part of the Marina City development. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I focus on ugly on this tour, there's generally two kinds of ugly. There's mm -hmm. the ugly that you feel, that some of these buildings don't really seem to welcome you, they don't want humans there, they're not encouraging. So imagine that you're co coming up to the House of Blues for a show, they drop you <laughs> off on Dearborn, and where's the entrance? You have to search it out and hunt it out. They're not really trying to welcome and encourage you to come into the space. And then there's the more obvious, the ugliness that you see. And that can be from a haphazard development and or, uh, the way that the facade's organized or deferred maintenance. So when you look at the, uh, from Dearborn, when you look at it, if you, especially if you look at that trim uh -huh. on the top, yeah. it can kind of look, that concrete is really lumpy. It yeah. can look like someone right. popped open a can of their breadsticks and just slapped those uncooked breadsticks <laughs> on the top of it. What do you think, ugly or not ugly? Uh, definitely ugly. Yeah, yeah not so I think it's ugly. ugly. Yeah, and that's one of the things I love about the tour is that I'm just trying to present a perspective. You can say if it's pretty or ugly. If you disagree with me, that's great. I want that conversation. I'm just trying to present a perspective. And, and if people disagree, that's wonderful. Amy and I are very intrigued, and we know the viewers will be too. You've created a one-of-a-kind tour mm -hmm. that revolves around the city's pesky rodents. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I've always been fascinated by Chicago's hidden underside with our underground streets, yeah. our subway stations, our pedestrian tunnels. Uh, but I felt like I needed something more that brings the tour together. And then a couple months ago, this guy emailed me and said, hey, my 10 year old cousin's lately been into rats. Can you do a tour involving that? And I'm like, yes, yes I can. And I was so excited about that. And that's what this tour needed. It needed rats to really be that thread, that story that ties it together. And how the, how the stories of Chicago and rats, they're thoroughly interconnected in that they're gritty, adaptable, resilient. And it's just a really wonderful story. And I'm really excited about it. I, I would assume that rats and the other architecture also cross over as well well I mean I, they can be a contributor to it yeah. towards it so uh, but we don't see a lot of great architecture on this tour because you're, you're pretty much underground the entire okay. time yeah. so you can see the lower level streets and the base of buildings but you don't get to see the wonderful tops of buildings up there. well maybe folks don't want to go on the tour because they're squeamish they don't want to see all the rats do you see rats on the tour we probably won't see many rats okay. scurrying <laughs> around on the tour <laughs> okay. because the well the, the rat hour is generally two hours after sunset okay. and so that's when they're most active uh, during the tour where uh, it'll be during the daytime okay. we will see signs of rats and I do have visual aids on the tour to use <laughs> to highlight rats some famous rats and other rat facts and stories. Okay. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so one, before we let you go, go on, another piece of architecture that is like one of your favorite ugly places. Sure. So um, I've got several. Let's okay. see. The, yeah. um, I think a, a great one that I love to talk about is 55 West Wacker. So mm. this is on the river. It's a it's a brutalist style building. And the, uh, oh. yep, there we go. We got a great mm. picture of that there. Brutalism is not a particularly beloved style of design, yeah, but the that's... term is not derivative of the word brutal. It's derivative of the French phrase beton brut, meaning raw concrete. And it's very expensive 
experimental using that fluid uh, fluid concrete to turn it into a muscular architecture. And uh, so it, it, it can be seen as cold, alien, not mm. welcoming, but I love how it stands against those much taller buildings yeah. next to it. It's a little dumpling of a building, but it looks very proud in its stature. I see it as the Danny DeVito of architecture. <laughs> I mean, when you think of Danny DeVito as an actor, he's <laughs> short, yeah. stocky, yeah. but he has a charm to him. And that's one of the things I love about ugly buildings. Just because something's ugly, it doesn't make it a bad building and you can still love it. It looks mm. a little like a Jenga piece too. Yeah, I would, I would still say ugly. I still say yeah, ugly too. A little ugly. I think it's ugly, but I love it. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, you love to hate. These are fascinating. Mike, thank you so much for joining us. If you guys want to check out tourswithmike.com, you get some more information about the ugly buildings tour and the rat tour uh, and all the details there. Thanks for coming on. Great, thanks so much for having me.